Well, Rhiannon, I talked to a lot of people in this town tonight. Many did not want to share their opinion with me on camera. Several very upset, some indifferent, but fair to say everyone is definitely surprised. On May 17th, Chelsea Manning will leave Fort Leavenworth. Thanks to President Barack Obama, that is 28 years early. I believe that um, intelligence is not anything he was really interested in, and I believe that this is a bad representation of what should have happened. Most of the people we spoke to in Leavenworth were upset to hear Manning's sentence was largely commuted, but some not really concerned. If it hadn't been, you know, uh, uh, for his mental state, I'd say put him away forever, but yeah, release, I don't see anything wrong with releasing him or her now. I've lived here most of my life, but, and, and for the most part, people on the fort stay, stay with the people on the fort, people in, in town stay on town, so it's not really much of a problem. Most people get out of the pen, they want to get as far away from here as possible, so we don't have to worry about them hanging around. Manning, who is now a transgender woman, was sentenced to 35 years after pleading guilty to publicly releasing hundreds of thousands of military documents that detailed sensitive information. WikiLeaks published the paperwork and videos online. It's very extremely a slap in the face to those that have retired, those of them didn't serve till retiring, but still. Um, believed what the country was standing for and understood the non-disclosure agreement that everyone has to sign. As I said, Manning is a transgender woman. She served in the U.S. Army as a U.S. Army intelligent analyst under the name Bradley Manning. She'll be released from this prison on May 17th. Reporting live in Leavenworth tonight, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.